guys welcome back to my channel it's mix from the mix creation tv thank you so much for coming to my channel thank you so much for supporting me if you're new here support my channel by subscribing we are looking at a road to 1000 subscribers support my channel tell a friend about the channel in today's video we are still we are actually looking at security guards security guards and security guard companies these are two different guards these are two different terms if we all go to discuss one at a time the security guard companies those are companies that hire the security guards and the security guards these are personnel that that will be contracted to protect people and their property in whatever case they may be at a given period of time but remember in today's video we are mainly focus is we are looking at the uae uh, remember security guards in the uae and security guards in the other gulf countries the gulf countries the other gulf countries we are talking about we are talking about countries like qatar saudi arabia kuwait oman uh, bahrain are totally far different from this other uh, from this uh, this company that we, we are talking about now remember all companies much as all people may be security guards and all companies may be under one contest name the security companies but the work the payments all the services may differ in one way or the other at whatever uh, uh, some companies may share the same services but the management is totally different from one another that's why you find at given situations that the security guards that are working in the gulf countries for example security guards that are working in qatar are working in oman and uh, they are getting uh, a salary that is totally different from the guards that are working in the uae why that is a question that should be asked between me and you and how do we get it it is you and me to find out the right answer or the right reason why and this is exactly what we're talking about so uh, in today's topic we are talking about the uae earlier on we discussed the salary we discussed about qatar we discussed about the salary in qatar but this time we are talking about the uae and one one person one of the subscribers asked me what is the basic salary of a security guard in dubai or what is the basic salary of the security guard in the uae remember when we talk about the uae we are talking about Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Those are the contents of the two emirates that we are talking about in one way or the other. But remember that the security guard salary in the UAE is a reliance upon to the two systems. Uh, remember, the United Arab Emirates is a nation where two security regulations are working, all the security regulations that are in place. Remember, I talked about the two security regulations where I talked about the passcode. The passcode, which is the private security company organization, formerly known as the PSBD. Then we are talking about another one, which is called the CIRA, the Security Industry Regulatory Authority, formerly known as the DDC. By around 2000, in the UAE, there are not only formal regulations for the security service providers. That is why most cleaning companies provided both security guards and cleaners at that time but still today the majority of the security companies provide cleaning services because they have been doing this type of business for many years but there is a parametric difference between the past and the present this is what i'm talking about and this is what we are discussing uh, we are trying to look at what is the basic salary of a security guard in the uae Oh, some people may just term it as Dubai or the way you want to call it, but we are looking at that as what we discuss. Remember that the company had an option either to give the cleaning or security work to their staff. Therefore, it was a very big problem for some companies because you would find that the security operator or the person who is contracted to work as a security guard will not perform his duty to a max or his duty to the expected uh, to the expected so remember that it was very essential after too much complaints to the clients it was very essential 
the UA government to address the issue. Thus, a new security regulation was announced in 2002 in Abu Dhabi, which was followed by the Emirates after then. After forming the PSBD for the private security company, the basic salary was defined by the government. Since then, all security guards working under the PSBD, that is the private security business department, started getting the same basic salary. But remember, when we are talking about the salary, don't remember, don't forget, we talk about the basic, we talk about the minimum wage. All those things are also discussed under what we call salary. But remember, in Dubai, the largest province in the UAE, did not follow the what we call the PCBD, security regulation. Rather, it created its own department. That is the result of the BPC was created and the salary also remains low compared to the PSBD. Now that both the departments have changed their names to their names the PSCOD and the CIRA respectively, we want to see how much salary a security guard get paid in the UAE. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It is next from the Malcolm Make Max from the Max Creation TV. Even though basic salary among the PSBD guards from any company remains equal, equal, but overtime pay and other allowances are different. It depends on the company how good it is for the employees. Remember, the sailor and the DPC guards are allowed working only in Dubai. They also have the same pattern of salary as PSB the guard. The basic salary is equal but overtime and allowances are huge differences from company to company both in Pascal and the Sira guard. When other states followed the PSBD rules but Dubai could not afford the salary to the security guards as much as the PSBD. The main reason was the financial crisis in Dubai in 2008 set it back. In 2017, Dubai also increased the security guard salaries and re rewrote the security regulations. As the result, CIRA was formed. Just like any other countries, UAE private security guards also work eight hours plus four hours overtime per day and 26 days per month. Let's overlook the salary structure of a security guard in the UAE. Remember, we are going to look at what we call the passcode guard secure salary. And what does this person get at the end of it all? Remember, if you have a PSCOD certificate, your basic salary for 28 for 26 days, 8 hours will be 2000. Your overtime, 26 days, 4 hours overtime, will be 770 dirham. And work on off days, 4 days per month, will be 692 dirham. Meaning that if a passcode security guard salary will have a total of 3,046 3, 43,462 dirhams. I think that is very clear. Because we are looking at you having that license. And remember, for you to work in Dubai, you must have what you call a CIRA license. This license, you can either have it by yourself, or pay by yourself, or the company can pay for you. Then it will keep on deducting from your salary every end of the month. It just depends on what we call the contractual agreement between the two of you, you and your company. But remember, for a security guard who has a security license, the CIRA license will be entitled to a higher salary compared to a person with no CIRA license. And it is just estimated that a person 
a, a security guard who has a serial who has no a serial license will get between 1,800 to 1,700. Compared to a person with a license, who will be a much more higher figure of the salary at the end of it all. So what you need to know, what you need to know with the Dubai, that you need to have what we call the license. You have to have a SILA license. And normally this license depends. It depends on the kind of training that you, you took at one or the other. We shall try to look at that in another video. And what I have to give a hint, what I have to let you know, is that each training has a different amount that you're supposed to pay as its fees. So the higher the amount that you pay, that means even your salary after getting your certificate or your training certificate at the end of it all that permits you to do the work, which we call the license, then it will be the same amount that you'll have a figure that will be even higher than compared to people without a license at one way or the other. So that means that that means that the basic average total comp com compensation will be around 3,000 uh, dirhams per person. And in this com in this average total composition, we can look at uh, in case the basic is 90 shares, maybe 60 shares, 9 percent, and the housing allowance is 14 percent. Transport allowance will be 8 percent. Other allowance, 9 percent. Remember that most companies provide housing allowance to their guards. Um, they provide the transport allowance that is to and fro. And uh, other allowance that may agree by, may, uh, by the company, that is part of this. So uh, for the total, a security guard can make around 3,000 uh, salary at the, end of it, uh, at the end of it of the month if you have the pistol or uh, uh, um, the passcode or the serial license at the end of the month. Um, hope. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. Hope I've answered your question. Uh, someone was asking for me, and that was from Ghana. Uh, 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 Malcolm say, uh, it's called Ogodabain from uh, from Ghana. Uh, I hope I've answered your question well. Thank you so much for tuning in my video. Hope to see you in the next video. It's next from the Next Creation TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Support me. We are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. See you again in the next video.